Hey guys, some developers from XDA have figured out how to access more of the display properties on the Nexus 6 and that's fantastic because not everyone has the same display tastes. Some people prefer cooler or warmer displays, some people prefer a more saturated display or a less saturated display. So we now have the tools to actually adjust that. Now it's not just on the Nexus 6, it actually is for any Qualcomm based device, I believe the Moto G2014 is also supported along with loads of other devices, you'll have to check the link in the uh, description, it's from the XDA thread. And you'll also need a compatible custom kernel, now on the Nexus 6 all the big ones support it, Franco, Elemental X, Lean kernel, in this video I am using Franco kernel and it's working exceptionally well. In terms of the application, it's called KCAL Color Control. You can see it right there. It's not on the Play Store, so you will have to download this from the link in my description. And it's a very simple and easy to use application. It really, really is a lot simpler than what we had on the Nexus 5, if any of you guys remember that. Right at the beginning, it was horrible to use. It was just loads of numbers and lists, and it was hard to see what you were doing. So if we open up here, we have four options at the top. Set on boot is pretty self-explanatory. Color service, of course, you will need running. Invert display basically inverts all the colors, and there you can see it looks uh, pretty funky. In this case, everything is quite white, so being an AMOLED display, it's probably not a good idea because it's going to wear down your display more, and of course, it's going to take more power. We'll turn that off. Grayscale changes everything to black and white, as you can see right here. That actually looks kind of cool. If we go into an application, you can see it's also all different shades of gray and, and white and all that sort of stuff. Turn that off. We then have the RGB modifiers right there. We could, of course, change those before, so I'm not going to talk about those too much, but they are important. And then we have the new options right here, and most notably saturation and contrast. You can also see a picture of a, of a parrot here, so you can see exactly what you're doing when you move the slider, which is a really nice little addition there. So let's try this out. <clears throat> what we're gonna do is, if you just keep an eye on the picture, you'll see that when I change the saturation, if you want it to be more saturated, we'll move the bar up and you can definitely see the reds on that, on that bird looking a lot more red than it was before. So you can make it more saturated if you want to. If you want to go the opposite way and maybe you don't like the saturation of this display, you can actually tone it down so you can go the other way and you can see it's definitely less saturated than it was before and if we go back to the home screen, I can definitely see that straight away when I look at the icons. They're not quite as punchy, not quite as saturated and again, that's going to depend on your preference and what you want to see from your display. I'm going to put that back on 40 because I kind of had this set up the way I liked it. Value you can see here, again, you can, you can change this quite drastically. It gets darker, it gets bright. You can actually blow it all the way out if you want to. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. But again, there's a lot of scope for change here. And you can get it set up to exactly what you want. I think it was actually 135. Okay, and again contrast. Now if you move this even a little bit, you can see it drastically changes the image quite a bit, even all the way to a kind of a negative, which is kind of a weird, weird look. So yeah, there you have it guys. This gives you the ability to customize the display to exactly how you like it. And it's everyone's individual taste. Some people will like a warmer display, some people will like a cooler display. If you do like a warmer display, you can maybe pull up the red and green and maybe pull down the blue a little bit. You can just mess around with this and you can check the image right here to see how it's going to look. Now the settings you can see on your screen right now, these ones that I'm showing you, are actually from an XDA member and they're my favourite. I absolutely love these settings. They are a little bit cooler, it makes the white stand out a little bit more. I just think it looks better than the default settings. The whites are more on the bluish side instead of more to the yellowish side, but again you can just move these around a little bit and customize it to how you like. But if you do like the cooler display, I definitely suggest giving these settings right here a go. Pause the video, do whatever you want to do and uh, check these settings. I think they look fantastic on the Nexus 6. So yeah, there you go guys. Let me know what you think. Peace out.